Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. Today we're doing up some delicious ribs, and let's face it, who doesn't love ribs? They're super easy, and the great thing is they're all done in a frying pan. So stick with us, and let's get started. I'm going to get started here with half a rack of ribs. So to make this really tender, we're going to marinate this in four cups of Sprite. Now I've also heard of people using cola, root beer, something like that, but I like the Sprite because it gives that nice citrus taste. Cover it with a lid and let this soak in the fridge for at least a couple hours, but you know, I always do it overnight. And because the ribs aren't totally submerged, you might want to give it a flip halfway through. Okay, now our ribs have nicely marinated, we're going to go ahead and make the sauce with a cup of beef or pork stock, two tablespoons of soy sauce, half a cup of one of everybody's favorites, ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and you can also use white sugar a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, three cloves of garlic that I've pressed down, and some freshly ground black pepper. By the way, this handy dandy pepper shaker was sent to me from Q's and Ware, and you get both salt and pepper with the twist of a wrist. For more information on this kitchen tool, go ahead and visit their website. Alright, we'll give the sauce a little stir here and set it aside. What you want to do at this point in time is add some oil to a preheated pan. Put the ribs in meat side down and sear them over medium high heat for about 4 or 5 minutes until you get a nice brown effect. I usually flip them over and give them a couple of minutes on the other side. You won't get much of a sear because of the concave of the meat. Now we're going to pour the sauce in. By the way, what did the skeleton order in the restaurant? Maybe you guys can tell me. Drop the answer in the comments section. We'll make a little contest out of this. Bring it to a boil. Grab a spoon and drizzle some of it over the top of the meat. Slip a lid on, reduce the heat to medium low, and we're going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes. What I usually do is give it a flip about every 15 minutes and then some basting with the sauce. Well, the ribs are cooking, don't forget to click that subscribe button, yeah, that one right there, and you'll never miss a video. After about 45 minutes, the sauce is nicely reduced, the ribs look beautiful, and God, this smells good. And there you have it, guys, our stovetop ribs. Now the moment I always love, we're just going to go ahead and give this a taste test. Believe me guys, these are awesome. They're tender from soaking in the Sprite. Everything in the sauce blends together so nicely. And the great thing is we made them in 45, 50 minutes. Who would have thought they were made in a pan? For all the details on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com and give us a thumbs up because it really does help us out. And most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.